In this video, I will be building the RAM sticks for my computer. I have already constructed the C drive and the motherboard, and stuck a bunch of biters into the matrix, so it's slowly starting to come together. The system started slowing down a bit, which is when I noticed some biters had unplugged themselves from the matrix and were starting their own Zion. On behalf of the machines, I had my sentinels peacefully remove them and realized that a paradise wasn't going to cut it. I now need to design a new matrix, but perhaps one less forgiving. RAM stands for Random Access Memorabilia, and it acts as a temporary storage that's more efficient than a hard drive. RAM typically comes in sticks that get inserted into a motherboard, and for these sticks I will use trains. Additionally, I'm going to create an add-on to the matrix, to automate tweaking the simulation. I will name this program Architect, and it has the ability to deploy minor alterations to the code and design different environments for the biters so they stay trapped in their reality. Right now it's generating various hellscapes, which should be fine. Randomization is hard to simulate in fact Oreo, all I have to do is lay out a bunch of combinators that represent a deck of 55 cards, and every second it must generate a new order for the cards. The trains are all programmed to advance a station if the order of the cards matches its own internal order, or go down a station if the order doesn't match. The resulting behaviors can be plotted out on these lights. This is only 5 bytes of RAM, and we need at least 1 kilobyte. To solve this, we just copy and paste this design 20 times, and have now completed a side quest to build a tinnitus generator. That takes care of the random component, now for the axis. Once more we use the trusty choo-choo, and put it in a spiral. This train changes its orientation based on the current random output, and balances it so there is no stack overflow. Finally, we work on the memorabilia. RAM typically uses old bits and pieces that were floating around the hard drive, and puts it together into something cohesive. Here I have a bunch of junk like stone, rocket silos, and empty barrels. The trains move the memorabilia around, and use it to make basic calculations. All I have to do now is stick this beauty into the motherboard, and it frees up a lot of power. Like and subscribe for more Fact Oreo content, or comment below if you want me to cover something specific.